Running doesn't always go to plan. Sometimes an athlete will come from behind and surprise everyone. Other times an athlete will have the race of their life and they'll take down a previous champion. However, on one special day in one special moment, one runner outperformed any expectation and cemented their running legacy forever. Now, we've seen our fair share of shocking upsets over the years. In 2017, we saw Justin Gatlin take down the almost unbeatable Usain Bolt. In 2003, we saw an 18-year-old Elliot Kipchoge defeat two of the all-time greats as he outkicked both Kenanisa Bekele and Hisham El Garouge. And who could forget the 1964 Olympic 10,000 meters, where Billy Mills outkicked the world record holder Ron Clark to win the first and only 10,000 meter gold medal in the history of the United States. These running moments were absolutely mind-blowing, but one moment stands far above the rest. And if you're interested in seeing the most legendary upset in track and field history, we have to go back to 1952. Building up to that year's Summer Olympics in Helsinki, Finland, a 29-year-old Emil Zatopek was considered by many to be the world's greatest 5K and 10K runner. In the 1948 Olympics, he won the gold medal for the 10K and a silver medal for the 5K. And over the course of the next four years, he never lost a single race, not one. In fact, after losing the 5,000 in 1948, he won 75 consecutive races which is certainly one of the longest winning streaks in track and field history. It was this absolute dominance that led to his glorious victories in the 5,000 and the 10,000 in 1952, finishing both races in Olympic record times. Although these two races were certainly unbelievable, his greatest moment was yet to come. According to legend, approximately 10 minutes before the start of the men's marathon final, Zatopek decided that he wanted to run his very first 26.2 mile race. Not surprisingly, this caught the entire field off guard. At this point, the man had already established himself as quite possibly the most successful track and field athlete of the Olympic Games. So why would he even want to run the marathon? And how on earth could his body take such a beating, especially after winning two brutally difficult races less than one week before? Apparently, this was just Zatopek's personality, a free-flowing individual who said yes to new challenges, no matter how hard the task. Indeed, he was a tremendous running talent with high levels of confidence, but the massive, massive favorite for the Olympic Marathon Final was the great Jim Peters from Great Britain. Just one month before the 1952 Olympics, Peters had completely shattered the world record in the marathon, improving the time by a full five minutes. This was one of the largest margins of improvement of the world record in history, and it certainly made Peters the absolute favorite for the final. This mark certainly gave Peters tremendous confidence, and virtually everyone expected him to run away with the victory in the Olympics, including Emil Zatopek. Before the race, Zatopek said that his plan was to hang on to Peters as long as he could, and then simply try and run strong in order to win a medal. This plan was certainly a big goal, especially for someone that had never run this distance. Before the start of the marathon, many athletes expressed that Zatopek would likely not even finish the race, stating that the full marathon was much more strenuous on the body than the 5,000 or the 10,000. Regardless of the skepticism from his fellow competitors, he entered the marathon with the dream of Olympic glory, and I'll let you guess what happened over the next 26.2 miles. After the first 15 kilometers, Zatopek found himself up front with Peters in the lead. The pace to this point had already been extremely quick, but Zatopek, who had never run this distance before, looked over to Peters and asked, is this pace too fast? To which Peters replied, no, it isn't fast enough. Peters would later explain that this was actually a tactic to get Zatopek out of his rhythm. But to the enormous surprise of both the crowd and Jim Peters, Zatopek's pace would stay strong for the remainder of the marathon. After an extremely difficult struggle to stay with his new marathon rival, Peters' body simply shut down. This searing pace had completely destroyed his body, and even though he was the world record holder and the huge pre-race favorite, he was simply no challenge for Zatopek on the day. Now up front by over two minutes, he only continued to increase his lead. 
At one point, he was even seen talking with the media in the lead vehicle, which was hard to believe given that this was his first marathon. Upon entering the stadium, he was greeted with a roaring crowd of 80,000 people, all cheering out his name in grand appreciation. Crossing the finish line, he set a new Olympic record in 2 hours, 23 minutes, and 4 seconds. The closest finisher behind Zatopek was over 2.5 minutes behind, which only further showcased how incredible this marathon moment really was. Given that he had never run a marathon before this day, and that he completely destroyed the current world record holder, it's easy to see why this is such a legendary upset. Never before had any athlete won the 5,000, the 10,000, and the marathon in the same Olympics, and it's highly unlikely that we'll ever see this historic triple gold medal ever again. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.